Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Oceama Magnetic Hose Holder. So this is a handy little device. It's effectively got two fairly powerful magnets in it. Um, and then you attach one half to a hose, whether that be your submersible pressure gauge or your octo, your alternate air source. And then that end ends up clipping onto your BCD or a D-ring somewhere so that they naturally always hold on to one another, but it is still quick release if you need to check your gauges or donate your alternate air source and then putting it back away you don't have to worry about folding hoses and trying to find a clip because they naturally find themselves um so yeah very handy, very clever little clip. Let's take a closer look. Right, so this is exactly what arrives. Um, this is the packaging that comes with it. Um, branded as Oceama, you've got a little um, sort of scuba tank backing card, as it were, uh, and a couple little um, sort of zip ties just to hold it in position. I've already removed it just to make life a bit easier. Um, and that's it really as far as packaging. Taking a closer look at the uh, the product itself. Um, so at one end you have a plastic, um, just a little clip just to attach onto a D-ring. You then have a metal split ring. So you can change that out for, uh, for something else if you wanted to. Then you move down to a metal body. And inside of this, you have a, uh, a pretty powerful magnet inside of that. So that's all metal. Uh, you've got a kind of a knurled, um, sort of section there, gives you something to grab hold of, and um, and then they've uh, sort of colorized it as well on this one. On the other end, uh, you have another magnet, um, and they obviously find one another very well. You do have to um, sort of give them a good tug. If that is on an octo, that is gonna be pretty easy, but um, it's not going to, you can put a fair amount of weight on that about a few kilograms at least um, to be able to um, sort of separate those, but in an emergency, quick and easy, no clips or anything. The lower section, uh, so this is all plastic, uh, apart from the magnet, obviously. And then you have this section here, which is attached onto a screw thread. So in here, this is what's gonna be trapping the hose. And then you have this collar that goes around it and as you unscrew it it's going to open up that hole and then that's how you're going to attach your hose so if you keep going eventually this section just comes free so i actually have a uh, an inflator hose here and i'm just going to pop that in so that fits quite nice and snugly and then you push that back into position and then screw it in. And this way you can put it kind of wherever you want along the hose. Um, and that way the magnet can sit exactly where you want it to. Do that up finger tight and that's not gonna undo and that's not gonna slide up and down the hose. And then when you clip that off onto a D-ring and then you move this section close to it, they naturally hold on. But if you do need to uh, sort of use that hose, grab hold of it and it comes free. So a very clever um, uh, sort of mechanism for attaching items, very quick and easy. Uh, if your D-ring isn't immediately easy to, uh, to reach with your hands, then you just kind of wave that magnet around where it is and they'll naturally find one another. The only downside to these is the obvious one, powerful magnets, it's gonna screw up your compass. So if you are planning on doing some complex navigation and you do require your compass, try and avoid using this because it's naturally just gonna to point to it or point away from it because uh, these are quite powerful magnets. So all in all, this was the Oceama Magnetic Hose Holder. Um, a very clever clip, um, very, they make a lot of sense because with a lot of the clips, it's quite hard to either sort of find your D-ring wherever it is on your BCD um, to make sure that you get it on properly. And it's just so much easier just to allow two powerful magnets to find one another in the water. So if you have it on your gauges on your left-hand side, you can just disconnect it to read your gauges and then they naturally find one another or an alternate air source on your right-hand side. You can donate that second stage and then when they're done with it you just move it back and they naturally find one another so very easy um yeah the only downside is powerful magnets they are going to screw up with compasses um so do be quite careful with them but otherwise yeah uh, more information on the website uh, simply scuba.com there's going to be a link directly to this down in the description below thank you for watching and of course safe diving mm -hmm.